What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to PC Wars episode 5 where you submit your custom PC to get featured on a channel and a chance to win 500, bu 500 bucks. That's what you think. What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to PC Wars episode 5 where you submit your custom PC to get featured on a channel and a chance to win 100 bucks. If you guys are new to the series and want to submit your custom PC, make sure to watch the video linked down below. So with all that said and done, let the PC Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always everyone's PC specs will be linked down below if anyone is interested, but here are your 5 lucky contestants. Archie, Jim, Jose, Marcus, and Ivalo. 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 Congratulations for making it to PC Wars episode 5. First up is Archie with his PC build MK2. An i5-4670 clocked at 4.2. Then we have two AMD R9-290X graphics cards, 16GB of G-Skill RAM, and water cooling parts from EK. I don't see many water cooling builds in the H440 case, so coming across run is always a pleasant surprise. I'm loving the back plates and the custom red cables from PCCG. It's interesting that you went with red cables for this build, but I gotta say, it does add some spice to it. Cable management is also really clean, job well done, and for benchmarks, the MK2 scored a 17,138, putting it way up there and pretty hard to beat. Definitely a strong start for this episode of PC Wars. Evilo is next up with his black and blue baby inside the Define R4 case. An i7-3770 paired with two ASUS R9-290s in Crossfire. We also have 16GB of Kingston RAM and a fractal design Kelvin S24 as the CPU cooler. Great work with color coordination and cable management, definitely a good looking PC no doubt. For benchmarks it scored a 14,315 putting it in second place. At number 3 we have Jim with his Project B, a blue, black and white build inside the Case Labs SM8 case. We have a 4790K overclocked to 4.8 with two GTX 780s. We also have 8GB of RAM from Kingston and water cooling parts from EK yet again. Some of the mods include custom painted fan rings from Corsair, GPU engravings, a painted SLI bridge cover, and a custom blue acrylic floor. For benchmarks, it scored a 16,219, putting it in second place for this episode. Next up is Jose with Monster Red, yet another water cooled build, but this time inside the Air 540 case. A 4930K clocked to 4.6, and we have two GTX 780 Ti, super clocked edition and SLI, and 32GB of RAM from Corsair. Water cooling parts from EK as always, along with some mods that include a painted SLI bridge, painted SSDs, and even part of the case is painted red. Keel management is clean and it scored in 18,627, which puts this beast up top at the number one spot for this episode. Last but not least, we have Marcus and his black and blue build Ayana, which has a 4690 and a GTX 970. The PC also has 8GB of RAM from G-Skill and a Cooler Master 212 EVO to keep things cool. It scored a 9736 on Firestrike, which puts it in last place, but overall a really good looking black and blue build inside the NZXT S340 case. So that's it for this episode of PC Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best custom PC. Voting will end on the 15th and I'll announce the winners on the 16th on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So make sure you guys are following me there. But that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy PC Wars, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.